Let's cartoonify a person with one of my favorite Adobe Photoshop filters. Let's start a new file and select the letter preset within the print tab. That gives us eight and a half by 11 inches and 300 pixels per inch. Keeping the color mode at RGB is best for getting full access to the Photoshop filters. Import your image and then press your enter key or click commit. There are many ways to isolate parts of your image and you could use this contextual taskbar, but I like to use my object selection tool. When you hover over your image, this feature will present a pink outline of the object that it is identifying. Photoshop has gotten so smart. I like to go to select and mask to see how my selection looks before creating my mask layer. When I slide this opacity slider up and down, I can see how precise my selection appears. It's quite good since my image had a pretty distinctive background. While I'm here though, I will click on the refine hair feature for an even better selection of her hair. I'll click OK and then create my layer mask with this icon down here. Now I have a stencil of my selection. Photoshop calls this a non-destructive layer. We are hiding part of the image, but we can bring it back at any time. Using the move tool, I will nudge her to the right a bit to adjust for the balance of the composition. Now there are many ways to create a fill background layer. I will add a solid color adjustment layer and choose yellow in the color picker window. I need to drag this underneath the image in my layers panel. I'll move that existing background layer to the trash. Now let's cartoonify her with one of my favorite filters. Go to the filter dropdown and filter gallery. If this option is grayed out, it might be because you're in CMYK mode. You can change the color mode to RGB under the image dropdown and mode. Back to filter gallery. In this window, I like to adjust the preview to fit in view. This cutout option is my favorite filter for cartoonifying people. You can adjust the number of levels for more or less detail, and the edge simplicity slider changes the sharpness of the edges. The edge fidelity is usually a subtle change, so I often skip it, then click OK. Take a look at the layers panel. We created our cartoon effect all the while protecting the original image. If we wanted, we could drag our filter to the trash, and we could click on the stencil part of the mask layer to hit the keyboard delete key. I'll undo all that. With smart filters, you can also toggle the visibility. Now you have a great beginning to a poster.